Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic. It is time to look at how Scotland Forever, my 150 gram B-League robot, performed at ARC's Havoc 5. Now, for those of you who haven't seen this before, this is a robot built out of Scottish tourist hat. I made it in Scotland like three days before the event here in Australia. Uh, so I built it and then traveled all the way back and fought it in this event. It was the fourth of my robots that competed at this particular event. And its very, very first fight up was up against Maker's Muse and Angus's robot FLS. So both of our robots were going into the very first fight for themselves and also for the very first fight for the B League for the day. There was a lot of firsts going on in this particular fight. It's going to be a great fight. Uh huh. Yeah, there we there you go. There you go. Hammer against the flipper. Oh god, it turns off. Look at that. Doesn't go straight at all. Oh, you're stuck on the. You got out. I don't think anyone will. Watch out, Angus! Watch out! Let me go to the drop! So, what is it? Turn. <laughs> He's figured out a new way to spin the weapon. Oh, oh, here it is. Oh. It was a pig. Here comes a hole. Oh, there it is, there it is. There it is. Just that little extra angle on it. That extra angle on it. Oh, it's close. So before I talk about this fight too much, I will say that uh, I had put new electronics in Scotland Forever. The electronics that I had in Scotland Forever in the previous video, which is uh, cards, linked in the description, all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, those were 50 to 1 and 20 motors, and they were faster than the 75 to 1s that I put in here now, because in Scotland, I didn't have much control over Scotland Forever, so I decided to try and slow the motors down. What this fight showed me was that it didn't matter, I didn't have control over the robot really anyway, uh, and I was still spinning the wheels even on 75 to 1, so they're just the lack of grip in these coasters that I have as wheels is really the problem there. But what I did do is I slowed down the thwack, so I took it from being able to thwack fast enough to break the wooden ears off this pencil topper, to thwacking so slowly that it was really no worry for uh, FLS in this fight, which was um, annoying, to be perfectly honest. Uh, you never want to see a change made to a robot that takes the whole robot backwards and means that it's uh, not fighting as effectively as it co possibly could have. Both of us were having first robot jitters, both of us were struggling to control our robots. Uh, Angus's robot, uh, he talked about in his own video having trouble uh, getting it to drive in a straight line. Basically, the motors that you have are just way overpowered for what he needs. I was struggling because these cork wheels are not great and the whole robot is fairly um, janky. Janky is probably the word for it. Uh, so driving in a straight line was something that neither of us did particularly effectively, but it was still a very fun, silly fight. Of course, I did try uh, and spin on the spot a couple of times, because of course spinning is a good trick, or sometimes a good trick. Turns out that yes, with the slippy motors, uh, or the slippy wheels and the slower motors, even that wasn't quite enough to be really doing any damage. But I mean, was this thing ever going to? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Interestingly, the kid who was talking in the background of that video was actually right. As it turns out, because both robots went down the pit at the same time, it was counted as a draw. I was quite happy for that fight to be called against me because FLS did indeed push uh, Scotland Forever into the pit. But it was called a draw, and look, I I did argue it a little bit, but then when uh, the person counting the scores said, no, it's a draw, I went, all right, I'm going to take that, because uh, it meant that Scotland Forever had its, didn't lose its first fight, I guess, uh, which is not something that I expected to happen. I definitely thought that 
this particular robot was going to lose its first fight. Speaking of fights though, we need to move on and move on into the next fight for our round robin group, which is up against a high powered flipper, appropriately called Flip. And that was a little bit more like uh, fights that I was expecting out of Scotland forever. Flip is a very high powered flipper. It's very well driven uh, and they showed basically no mercy. I mean, they showed a little bit of mercy. We got flipped up on our side early on, which uh, showed one flaw in the design. I need little like juts on the side of the wheel so that when it's sitting that way, I can still drive a little bit better rather than sitting flat on the wheel as we did in this particular case. Because from here, while I can move a little bit as shown at the very end where I basically drove myself into the pit, the control isn't really there and I can actually be counted out in that state. Uh, basically though, I wasn't counted out at the end because I was wiggling myself towards the pit and Flip was helping that. So it was fairly inevitable to the ref that I was going to go down the hole and they were like, eh, you can just keep going. Uh, Flip, as mentioned, was indeed at least a little bit sporting uh, and flipped us back over onto our wheels for a little bit more of a drive, which was very, very nice of them. I mean, all four of us that were in this particular round robin group were people who had other robots in the competition doing other things, beta weights and featherweights and so on and so forth. So I think, at least for me personally, this weight class, the B League ant weights, was kind of more of an excuse to have another robot going, another set of fun fights, and I was fighting a very silly robot. I was only there to have fun. I wasn't ever expecting to win. So uh, the fact that Flip uh, flipped us back onto our wheels and kind of kept the fight going a little bit longer kind of shows to me that they were in that same mindset of, well, let's just have a bit of fun with this. It is the B-League after all. But of course, that does mean that we did end up in the pit. We did indeed lose that fight. Nothing really uh, we could do about that flip. As mentioned, a very, very good flipper. And we were running a not a very effective thwack bot. The final fight that uh, we have in this round robin group is up against a robot called Sketch. If you have seen Makers Muse's recent videos, you have seen Sketch. It is the inspiration for Angus's latest ant weight. It is a eight wheel drive, clampy, lifty, throwy type robot, which is over engineered and beautiful. And we got thrown over on our side again, but as Flip did sketch, righted us back onto our wheels, 
basically to get a bit of a chance to play with this more from there because uh, he was a little bit worried going into this fight that he wouldn't actually be able to grab hold of Scotland Forever because Scotland Forever is so big. He did have a set of jaws uh, to manage to grab hold of big things but hadn't had a chance to put them on after his last fight and so went in with the smaller jaws. Thankfully for him, he did manage to find a couple of places on Scotland Forever that were small enough to fit into his smaller jaws. Uh, and then he proceeded to have a bit of fun with us, which was exceptional. James is an amazing driver and an amazing builder. And yeah, the fact that the first grab up and had the cow butt up into the camera was just hysterical. I love that. I had forgotten about that. It's been a couple of weeks for me since uh, the event and then re-watching that footage to get my head back into the zone and do this uh, piece to camera. I laughed so hard when little cow butt up into the camera. Just so good. And then of course he almost got us out of the arena which would have been, oh, just so annoying. I have been trying to flip someone out of the arena over those low walls for a while now and I've got close, I've got somebody to the same point that he got us up on top of that wall but uh, exactly the same thing happened to me as happened to him. The person up on the wall, spinning the wheels hard as soon as you let them go, come back down off the wall. Uh, he was still right there though so just put that straight into a suplex which was so good. I love a robot that can suplex another robot its own weight. That is Always a fun thing to see happen. And we got it twice uh, in this fight. Sketch suplexed Scotland Forever a couple of times, which I, ah, oh, that's so good. Uh, and obviously there was a chance there for him to throw me down the pit and he decided not to. Again, like I said, those of us in this uh, round robin were just having so much fun with our B-League robots for the day. And all of us had other robots that we were being very competitive with. Uh, and yeah, we just, we had a bit of a fun time. But of course, at the end of the day, Sketch did of course uh, run away with this fight, had the control of the fight the whole way through. So it was up to him when it ended and it ended the way that it was always going to probably. Uh, and that unfortunately is the end of the fights for Scotland Forever for this competition because we didn't make it through our uh, round robin bracket with two losses and a draw. We were definitely not going anywhere further than that and there was no B-League Rumble because uh, Robot Havoc 5, there was a lot of things going on and we ran out of time which was a little bit unfortunate. I'm not sure what the fate of Scotland Forever is going to be. Uh, I might put faster motors in it, like really, really fast motors in it and just run it one more time in the future at some point. Or it might be a very, very cool thing that sits on my shelf and stares at you uh, with its googly, googly eyes for the rest of time. I don't know yet. We will find out. Anyway, I hope you have all enjoyed that one and I will see you in the next video.